What's up, fellas and ladies? Uh, just have a new update here. Kind of a good, important one, by the way, for the virtual VE assistant. Some major things going on here. And every time I drop a new version of this tool, I'm like, that's it. This is the last one. Nothing more until I get to version two of the tool. Well, that that's never worked out. So anyway, um, a few. Number one, speed. And this was driving me crazy. Just whenever you try to highlight cells, it was always so slow and laggy. And I finally got that figured out. It's nice and fast and responsive now, which is really nice, especially when you're coming in here and you're trying to do highlight just the zone and do control G. And now you can move so much faster without, I don't know, five, 10 seconds to just select something silly. So that in and of itself, I think, is hugely important. Uh, the other cool thing is, uh, let's, if we look at this, and so now we have our shape over here, right? And maybe this is something that we've been working on a while, and we finally got it where we want to. Uh, we can now import this directly into professional mode. So if I go into professional mode, I'm actually going to hit no, but all this is telling you is, do you want to calculate the coefficients from this guy? And let's just use that to start our professional mode session. I'm going to hit no. And just to show you, when we go to raw coefficients, you can see all six of these are blank. So let's exit out and then we'll go back in. And now we'll say, yes, give me my coefficients for this shape. So now when we come in here, look at this. Those are all filled out. So that will save you quite a bit of time. Um, from having to copy all six of those tables over uh, just to do that. So that should save you some time. Now, another thing that I have improved upon is whenever you go to paste in a new table, whether it's going to be you're pasting in this table or any table, including the histogram, we now have better error warning messages that tell you I can't import it and here's why. So let's do a quick demo. So let's, we'll copy, no wait, we wanna copy with axis. I'm just gonna drop this into Excel. And let's try to get sneaky. We can see that we have a 0.2 pressure ratio. Well, if I do maybe 201, right? A thousandth off, and let's try to take this and let's put it back into the tool. Say, okay. First one, like, are you sure? Do you want to overwrite? If I hey, I'm going to tell you, hey, your map breakpoints don't match. So even though we have the same number of breakpoints, it's going to tell you, I see point, I'm expecting point two, and but you gave me point two one. So let's not import that. So if we go back, we can change this. We'll just take that back off. But we can also, what if we randomly drop out this 4750 table? Let's just delete that whole thing. And we come in here and we pay clipboard, yes. And it's telling you, hey, you have less RPM columns. You gave me 27, but I'm expecting 28. So this should tell you um, better, give you better information um, rather than, I oh, just can't do it, they don't match. Um, there's been a whole lot of other improvements, uh, minor defects, bugs, just usability type stuff. I'm not going to bore you with the full list, um, but this is the gist of it. The thing that I would have dropped this new version sooner, but I've been tied up for about, I don't know, two, three weeks trying to um, update interactive mode so that um, these coefficients would be calculated for you. Um, so right now you have to manually, and this is not the right way, right? Just manually editing these coefficients. Um, but the algorithm that calculates the coefficients for the main virtual VE is like butter. It works great, but if the intake and the exhaust, uh, I don't know exactly what it is. I'm trying to switch to a different algorithm and it is, I'm not having any luck. So I felt like, you know what, I've got enough good stuff in here with the speed and calculating VE coefficients, as well as the better warning message and all the other million little fixes. 
let's just drop this version and hopefully I can get a resolution. Um, but basically the end goal is the same way that you come into here and you calculate coefficients for your base VE, uh, we want to be able to apply a histogram and make that histogram recalculate the coefficients for the intake and exhaust. So we'll get there, uh, just having some major technical difficulties. Anyway, the link is in the description to grab the newest version. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, have a great weekend. Later.